Hi guys, I'm Woodcraft Hamster and I thought I'd make a proper start today on our uh, carving the little guys uh, or figurine carving from the book Carving the Little Guys um, and today I'm going to make a start on doing the initial little bit of shaping on this block um, you know I'm hopefully going to be able to show a little bit of detail on this and keep it interesting uh, but please do mention in the comments if it's something that you know is not interesting enough or you want to see more detail less detail more actions or what have you um, but what I'm going to do I'm just going to try and find a, a suitable camera angle for my camera I'm a little bit restricted on space in here um, but what I want to do is make a proper start on this today and we'll see just see where we get to um, I've got a bunch of different knives here um, and I'm probably going to focus on sort of just one knife for today's episode um, and we'll see how we get on and I think I'll probably try and feature a different knife in each episode just so that you can sort of see it being done with different tools um, so that what I'll do let me move the camera a little bit closer in and we'll make a start Right then guys, well hopefully this is an okay angle for you. I've got a bit of extra lighting up here as well just to try and make things um, sort of stand out a bit more. Um, I'm sort of sitting where I think is probably the best place for you to see what I'm doing. Um, but time will tell. Once I review the footage, if it's no good, I'll either re-record it or at least find a different angle for the next episode. Um, so for today, I've chosen my little Mora Eldris. Um, lovely little detail carving neck knife. Um, Scandi grind um, and has been doing me really proud recently there's more, probably more videos to come on this um, once I've sort of really broken it in um, but as I say this is the piece of wood we're going to be working on and the first stage really is to round over this top piece so that it's it's completely rounded it's got, got like a, a dome shape on there and to do that or the way I do it at least is to start at the corners um, so probably I don't know, five to 10 mil down from the corner. Let's see if I can get you a good bit of detail there. Um, and you're literally just cutting off that corner. Um, and you know, you're not trying to take away great big chunks. You know, you, you want to be using your thumb to control the back of your blade. Don't use just um, you know, one hand and try and, I mean, I'll do it to show you what not to do, but you know, you don't need to be doing this. Um, you can do it, but you know, you want to really control this because there's a lot of detail involved. Um, so I like to just cut off the corners first of all to begin with, so they're all nice and even. Um, make sure they're all roughly the same, and you can carry on sort of cutting those once you've made a start, just to make them a bit deeper. Um, I mean, I'll give you an example. That was the first one, and where are we? That's having done it twice um, and really you're just sort of extending those cuts you don't need to go any lower on the piece of wood you're just trying to make them wider up the top here um, and I'll normally do that two or three times just to make a nice sort of wide um, cut and what I'm looking for if you look at it in cross section I'm trying to make the width of the piece I'm cutting into the same width as the wood that's left where we haven't yet cut. So you get that kind of octagonal section and hopefully that's picking up on the camera okay. Um, once I get to that stage, you're really just looking to come in and especially here on these corners, um, I'm trying to make sure you can see what I'm doing. Um, so where you've created a corner by making the cut, you then just do the same process but following along those corners and bringing it out sort of towards the middle, the same thing here, I'll make sure I'm close enough for you to see what I'm doing. Um, you'll have to excuse these first couple of videos, guys. This is uh, sort of new territory for me, carving close up to a camera. Um, and again, you know, you're just continuing to smooth this down. And you can see how well and how easily this Mora is cutting. Um, and I wouldn't expect anything less from a Mora, to be perfectly honest. Um, you know, I haven't even had to strop this yet since taking it out of the box. Um, and what I'll do, I think I'm going to fast forward through this footage. Um, because as I say, I do want to keep these videos fairly short. Um, and what I'll do, you can watch me do it, and then I'll come back when we've made this sort of rounded off as we want it to be.
Now, one of the things I've been deliberately doing here, guys, is overworking this side, just so I can demonstrate. Um, what you wanna do as you're carving along, keep an eye on this piece at the top here. Um, so what you can do, this will indicate to you whether you need to carve more off of this side or this side or wherever it may be. Um, and you can see that just here, I'm sort of closer to the center than I am here. So really what I wanna do is start carving away this bit and then here, and here. Um, and the other thing you may have seen in the fast forward is, is quite often I'm doing this with this piece of work. Now, because it's such a small piece of work, it is quite fiddly. Um, it's really, really good for learning kind of good detail carving skills with, or, or certainly that's what I've realized since I've been doing it. Um, the reason for that is because you don't have a great deal to hold on to. It's not like a spoon where you're kind of carving along like this. Um, so really what you want to be doing is taking very small detail cuts. As I said before, you don't want to be kind of hacking off like this um, and really sort of using that fine control. Um, obviously you need to make sure safety plays its part. Um, and it gets difficult the more of this you carve away because at the moment I've got quite a good grip on here. Um, and I'm cutting, obviously constantly cutting away from myself. So if I were to slip, my knife travels this way and there's nothing, there's no part of my body or my hand or my fingers in the way. Um, that said, when you do get down to some of the more detail work in this, um, it is quite difficult to get a good grip without maybe having something in your way um, where you have to take a lot more care. Um, but we're basically, we're almost there now, guys. I'm just gonna finish off this little top piece while I'm talking at you. Um, and essentially, I'm probably gonna leave that here. Um, here are we, a couple more little cuts just to tidy it up. A little bit more to go. Um, and you know you can spend as much or as little time as you like refining this down um, but in essence what you're looking for or what you're trying to achieve is just sort of a rounded over sort of almost like a dome on top because this is going to form the basis for your little figure's head um, so this is a little bit pointy for my liking so I'm just going to flatten this down with a couple of small and again, if I just stop here, you can kind of see the, um, the, the fineness of the shavings that I'm trying to take off here. You know, I'm not trying to remove large amounts of material by any means. Um, and I think that will probably do us for now. I can probably tidy this up a little bit between now and the next episode. Um, but that is basically the start of your carving. Um, now you can, if you so wish, you know, you can exaggerate this slightly. You can bring down some of these corners um, into what's a much more sort of dome-like shape. Um, and I'm not gonna bore you with doing all of that now, but just as an example, um, you know, you can take a corner like this and you can really sort of exaggerate it. Um, and I'll come on to that in later videos when you're sort of choosing your design and how you want this to go. Um, so that's it for today, guys. Um, as I say, I'll come back next week with another one of these um, and we'll move on to the next steps. I'm not going to bother doing my usual outro videos um, as I do when I'm sort of in my workshop um, because it just adds more time onto the video for no real benefit. Um, so that's it for this week, guys. I hope you've uh, enjoyed it. I hope it's given you something to think about and maybe you know, give it a try yourself. Uh, as always, comments and questions in the box below. Hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more and I hope you'll all join me next time. Thanks, guys.